Good morning, everyone, especially our intending surrogate mothers and our surrogate mother, already surrogate mothers. Good morning to you all. Um, we have a lot of requests from people who want to be a surrogate mother, and each time, you know, I keep, I'll keep saying, "No, you can't be. No, you can't be. You can't be a surrogate mother." So. That's why I'm doing this post this morning to let you know the criteria for being a surrogate mother at Meet Surrogate Mother Agency. Of course, you know we are we are the leading surrogacy brand in in the world, not even in not even in Africa, yeah. So number one thing for us is your age. Okay, so uh, we want to work with somebody that is matured, okay. Well, we take our surrogate mother's age range from 25 to 38. The second thing that we want to also ensure is that you are a mother, meaning you have given birth at least to one child. And the reason why this is a very important criteria for us is because we want somebody that has experienced pregnancy, somebody that understands pregnancy issues symptoms you know everything about pregnancy somebody that knows okay if i am seeing water for instance ah this is a red flag i have to talk i have to call i have to you know somebody that knows oh if i see water ah, i have to call i have to go to the hospital i have to you know somebody so so it takes experience it, it takes someone that has experienced pregnancy to have that motherly instinct. I know, um, yeah, as a woman, generally speaking, we, we, we all have motherly instincts, but you know, psychologically as well, um, you don't give what you don't have, you know, so um, surrogacy will take a, a toll on your psychology. So when you carry pregnancy for someone and you don't even have your baby, you know, at the end of the day you feel very empty but you know when when you have your own kids you will feel happy doing this okay and you won't want to hold back anything so that's one of the special reasons why um, you need to have given birth before you can be a surrogate mother with us okay so of course you have to be free from all infections as well so that's another um um, the criteria we look at so free from all infections HIV syphilis hepatitis you know so free from all infections so we don't take someone that is not um, you know clean yeah then also you also need to um, of course we have to check your genotype and blood group you know, yeah. Basically, we can work with any 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 genotype as a surrogate mother. So far, you are not. No, we can work with it. Or genotype, we can work with SS, for instance. But at least we can work with AS, and we can work with AE genotype. We can work with any blood group. Okay. So, um, so we would also screen you for all this when you decide to be a surrogate mother. Then, um, what else again? I think basically, um, you know, these are pretty, pretty the criteria we use to select our surrogate mother. And, you know, we always want to ensure that uh, the, the surrogate mother understands what she is coming for. In fact, uh, you need to use your mouth to tell me your, your, what surrogacy is all about. You truly understand this, you know, before we can even start anything with you okay so um so our surrogate mother yes we also prefer a, 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 someone that that has uh, a lot of time like someone that is doing her own thing you have your own private business you're doing because you, you need to take that nine months period out okay if you're doing this um this is not to say we cannot work with um um a four to five, I mean, the eight to eight to four, eight to five, um, uh, woman who wants to be a surrogate mother, but you know, we just need to have a good understanding. I used to have a surrogate mother that was working in uh, telecommunication industry, and you know, 
she pretty did very well during the during her period to carry the pregnancy like as if it was her own you know so even if you are you know working for someone we can have an understanding and see how we can work things out but definitely some some you need to take some period off um, to be with us during the program you know so but we can arrange the remaining so we prefer someone that has yeah a lot of time because we can call you at any time especially during the womb preparation period we can ask you to come to the hospital at any time and we wouldn't want no for an answer okay so before you can you, we, before you can be a surrogate mother you need to check all this okay and be ready that you are um you're ready okay you 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 need to be convinced you're ready to become a surrogate mother before you come to us at all so that's that's all about um, our criteria for choosing a surrogate mother thanks for watching <laughs>